Rochelle with Originally Worn and today I'm going to show you how to make and use colored wax. Colored wax can be a really cool technique in your arsenal to kind of give like the crevices of your pieces a color. Um, a lot of times now you see ones that are in like a black, um, a dark which is usually a brown or antiquing, or a white. Annie Sloan makes those three colors straight out of the can along with clear. But truly you can mix any Annie Sloan paint color with Annie Sloan clear wax and make any color out of the sun. And so what it ends up looking like is that you have like this teeny teeny little paint color sometimes in these little like teeny teeny cracks that they end up looking like you've taken this little brush in there and made all these little details and all you did was throw some wax in there and kind of mush it around and wipe it back off and you're done. So it's quite magical. So I'll show you how to do that. Here's a little container we're going to be working on today. It used to be uh, for a candle and it was concrete and I've painted it with one coat of Annie Sloan Old Ochre and clear waxed it. So now we're going to make our colored wax. So be sure to clear wax first and then take a little, I have a little dish here and I have my Annie Sloan clear wax and I will, I'm not going to need much for this project, you can just make up what you think you're going to need. I have a little bit of clear wax there See on that dish, just a teeny bit for this project. And then I'll get some Scandinavian pink out. And I'm just using a crappy brush to scoop stuff out with. If I was going to do it on a big project, I would use a better brush. So I had a, a dab of the Annie Slow paint there. The more paint you add, the less. Um, durability and cover like protection you gives your wax but truly you can add a, a decent amount and you can turn any of these colored waxes also into glazes if you watch my how to make a glaze video you do this step but then and act like it's just a colored wax and then make it into a glaze with mineral spirits so you see how we have this I mean it's definitely a wax texture I just mixed um, some in there and then I will take my piece, and you could do it with a rag, but I got this brush all dirty, so, and I'm gonna kind of try to, you're gonna try to work it into your crevices. And these are pretty big crevices on this project, but say, you know, you had something with some smaller details to it, you could do that. It might show up a little bit better for you, but this is what I grabbed today. So let's see, we got a good chunk of it with kind of wax everywhere. Then you take a lint-free cloth or an old t-shirt, I use the blue shop towels, and you just wipe the wax back off. And by doing that, you'll get your colored wax to kind of be in the crevices and in the, in the divots and stuff. Um, you can make this with any color. These divots are pretty big, so they're kind of, you, you kind of wipe it off of these also, but It'd just be like if you were wanting to antiquing this with the dark wax, but we're doing it with a pink. You can get similar uh, looks too with a color wash. And I have a video on how to do a color wash if that's more your jam. But different projects need, need different things. And so it's good to know all the different techniques. So that would be your finished project. Um, hope you guys enjoy. And if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Originally Worn. Happy painting!